Hello, this is Ivy. Today, I would like to share with you the concept of a magnet and a test net. Prepare for launch. Three, two, one. Now, what is a magnet? Magnet basically means the actual blockchain network that are using for the public. For the public blockchain, it is the network where all the cryptocurrency that is now traded in the exchanges live. All those cryptocurrency have their own network. It's just like different company having their own tokens for the internal circulations. So cryptocurrency from blockchain A won't be able to work on blockchain As for the mainnet and the testnet, they are like two different blockchain as well. Even though they might look exactly the same, they are basically is the duplications of the network structure. So anybody would like to build an applications on a specific blockchain would be able to test their applications to read out of any bugs on the testnet first safely without much cost before they have those on the main net because once you are on the main net if any bugs found it's not only going to cost you to correct the mistake but it could have some major disruptions or major cost effect to the applications so testnet is like a sandbox where you can test your idea test your application and you can feel very safe even though if you fail the sandbox will catch you let me give you some example of the test net of some major blockchain network first let's talk about symbol network now here i'm showing you the symbol blockchain explorer it is where you can see all the transactions happen in simple blockchain mainnet and here you can see that the recent block happens is on the 7, 72,588. Every transaction you send on a mainnet is going to cost you a transaction fee. But what if you want to try out your applications? It's going to cost you if you are trying it on a mainnet. So you bring it on to a testnet. Once you have it on the testnet, you can see that um, the simple blockchain explorer looks exactly the same, but the block that I'm having, currently having is different, is 266, 311 blocks. Because um, this has been running before the magnet come about and people are testing their applications over here. And here you can get the test XYM from a faucet. A faucet is where you can get free testnet XYM for you to test on your um, applications. While on the mainnet, basically you have to buy the XYM. Now, it's the same thing when you uh, go on to, for example, uh, Ethereum. Ethereum, they do have something like the Symbol of Explorer as well. Here is the ETH scan that is uh, quite commonly used where you can check all the transactions going on on the Ethereum mainnet. And if you would like to uh, test your applications on Ethereum network, what you can do is go on to check on the uh, testnet. Here is what the testnet available for uh, Ethereum. There's quite a few of them, but the one that I like, really best represent uh, Ethereum mainnet is Robston. And if you would like to get some test Ethereum to test on Robston, you can go ahead on uh, Robston faucet and to get that for your testing. As for Polkadot, another popular blockchain, you can go on to check on the Kusama chain where it is an early and unaudited and unrefined release of Polkadot. This is where you can learn about their governance, the staking and nominations and validation functionality in a real environment. Or in other options, you may create your own private blockchain to test. In simple blockchain, you can go ahead and create a private network to test your application too by using the symbol bootstrap. 
go on to this documentations and follow the instructions over here. And for Ethereum, you can use Ganache. Check out travelsuite.com and you can deploy your own private chain for your own testing. Now, I hope you get an idea about what is a mainnet and what is a testnet. Always test your applications on a testnet. It's just like the popular Korean drama startup says. A sandbox is where you can swing as high as you like and don't have to worry about falling down because the sandbox is going to catch you. Now, since testnet and mainnet, they are two different blockchain uh, technically, do not send any transactions from a testnet to a mainnet or from a mainnet to a testnet. They basically doesn't work. It's just like when you are playing with a monopoly, you can't bank in your monopoly money into a real bank. The bank just simply won't accept it. I hope you get an idea about what is a mainnet and what is a testnet from this sharing. Subscribe to the channel and I'll share more information about blockchain with you. See you. Bye.